up, Posse? My name is Will, and welcome to another review here on Alpha Omega Wolf Productions. So uh, this one is new, for starters. Continuing with the background change. In fact, I might do this uh, more often. Uh, I'm starting now because I just like the background. But this was a request by uh, Jessup. We're, and this is a movie based on a show that Jessup really likes. It is The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf, based on the, the popular TV series. Um, and it's basically a, an anime style movie, but taking place in the same universe. Um, and we follow the story of a witcher named Vesemir. And to be honest, I went into this completely blind. I know next to nothing about the witcher. Jessup has told me an awful lot about it. In fact, he's dressed up in a witcher costume. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the next to everything. So I was curious to watch it. Um, and I watched the trailer, you know, when I was uh, out for lunch and it looked pretty good. And after getting around to watching it, I thought it was good. I actually enjoyed this. Now, I will say, if you walk into this completely blind, knowing nothing about The Witcher, chances are you'll get lost. Oh yeah. But then, I had to help Will out a little bit. Yeah, Joseph had to help me out a little bit, and I was able to follow it just fine. In fact, I've actually made uh, the conclusion that after watching this, I actually might start watching the show. Yep. So originally, so the myth of like, the whole uh, creation of this series is pretty complex too, because this was originally a book series, which I have read most of them. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm rereading Blood of Elves right now just to get ready for season two because they said that the second season is going to cover that uh, particular book. Um, the first two books in the series are just a collection of short stories that introduce the world. And then Blood of Elves is where the story really comes in. There was a video game that was pretty popular for a while. Um, my action figure collection has a uh, Siri, Geralt's daughter in it, and the main villain, Eridon. I don't have Geralt himself, though. Sorry. Yeah, um, if you remember Kristoff from some of our earlier videos, he was a friend of ours from Poland, where the Witcher books were written, and he got me into the series. And basically, from my conclusion from watching the, this movie, is that the Witcher... I'm not trying to be mean here. I'm trying to compliment the, this. For those who, who are familiar with the very popular video game Skyrim, it's kind of like this. <laughs> from what I've seen, from what I've seen, but maybe it'll be more different when I watch the show. Yeah, take that, combine it with some Game of Thrones politics. Um, some pretty good comedy, especially from uh, Dandelion. He's a character in, in the show and the books. Yeah, but the animation, beautiful, top notch. I love the scenery. Like it, it almost felt like uh, it was like Lord of Lord of the Rings slash Avatar: The Last Airbender, and like I said, a little bit of Skyrim too. Now the characters. Game of Thrones in there. Well, that. And throw some Game of Thrones in there. Yeah, and some Game of Thrones, even though I've only watched like one episode of the whole show. Yeah. Um, now the, char the character of Vesemir, I didn't like him at first, but he grew on me uh, more as the movie went on. Like he felt like. He matured because at the start he was very cocky, full of himself. It was like, this is the hero we're supposed to root for. But then, you know, like I'm just said, I'm not trying to be mean. But as the, the movie went on, he became more mature, and we saw a lot of the development to for his character. Yeah. Um, like, and we saw what he was like as a kid. You know, he was a servant in a really rough household. He wasn't treated very well. And uh, there was, uh, I guess you could say, a love interest uh, with uh, a, a girl he knew, Ileana. Yeah. Well, that uh, was made up for the, for the, for the movie. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. At least, I mean, I'll admit, I haven't read all the Witcher books, but as far as I know, she was made up. She might have been mentioned somewhere in them, but I couldn't tell you. <laughs> and given that their medallions follow the show's medallions, and they're not uh, video game or book accurate, this is a video game... Oh, okay. medallion. Yeah, it does look like in the oh, that, that is awesome. video game. Yeah. Yeah, basically um, one of the premises, I do have the show's medallion in the back. And one of the basic uh, ideas from the uh, 
the Witcher that I kind of caught up on is that if a monster is near, their medallions start to ring. Yeah. Um, and they have to go it's, through like all these. Basically, there's like a magic there. source too. They have to go through all these insane trials that are literally life and death. Yeah, they're basically supernatural monster hunters. You so can tell. They, they basically, you think Van Helsing. Yeah, but they have supernatural abilities. Um, they can see in the dark. They have yellow eyes. I'm making so many comparisons here. <laughs> I know, right? It's kind of a hodgepodge of the best. Stuff. I'm not. And I'm not trying to. I'm trying to like. Uh, for, for the audience out there who's watching this. Yeah, I know. It's hard to expo- introduce this one. I always say it's kind of the next Game of Thrones, but that's not really accurate. That's not doing the series justice. M- maybe um, not. Um, but the story, like I said, unless uh, you've either seen The Witcher, read the books, or like me, if you've had somebody like Jess up to help, help you along, you'd be very lost. Uh, but I was able to understand it just fine. Okay. Um, let's see what else was there. The climax <laughs> delivered, I feel like. Hmm? The climax, I think, really delivered. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The climax of this was awesome. Um, seeing all these monsters, um, some of which the show haven't gotten to, because we're only one season into the show right now. No, I really like the designs of like all the monsters, and heck, I even like the designs of the characters in the yeah. show as well. Yeah. The, uh, and just a heads up, Will, Vesemir is not in the first season. Okay. But he, he, he has been seen in trailers for the second season. Sweet. So don't get your hopes up and see him. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, this was pretty good. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind to get, giving it another review. In fact, yeah. uh, maybe I'll read the books and, and uh, or watch The Witcher with me. Yeah. Read the books. Watch the show if you can. The books are hard to find, but if you can find them. I got the whole collection as a Christmas present. And then... Well, I was reading The Last Wish, which is the first book, which you, the one you want to start with. I accidentally dropped it on the toilet. True story. <laughs> it's still readable, but I had to throw it away afterwards. <laughs> All right. Was, so, was yeah, it was good. Simple as that. Yeah. So, you, should we should you talk about what's coming up next week? Or do we not have something? The FP. Like what was that? It's called the FP. This was requested by my older cousin. All right. FP All I know is that so bad's good. All right. Can't wait then. So that just about does it for this review. If you enjoy it, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're on the channel, subscribe for more content. So until next time, stay at our posse and have a great weekend.